Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention right there. Try to stay in that one spot. You're trying to get some control over your mind. Because the mind is the factor of life that gives results in all kinds of areas. It shapes your life. And you want it to be under your control. Otherwise, it's like handing the keys of your car over to a crazy person. The crazy person who drives any rich way. You want to be in control of the car, and you want to take it to a place that's really good. So first you have to learn how to tell it to stay with one thing and keep with one thing, and then keep watch out for it. You're developing three qualities here. One is mindfulness, keeping something in mind, remembering you want to stay with the breath. Then there's alertness, watching what you're actually doing right now. Are you staying in line with what you wanted to do, or are you wandering someplace else? Then there's a quality called ardency, which you put your heart into this. You want to do it well. So every time you find yourself wandering off, just come back to the breath. You wander off again, come back to the breath again. Just drop whatever thoughts are not related to the breath. And make the breath as comfortable as you can. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow. A good rhythm to start out with is five seconds breathing in, five seconds breathing out. And if it feels calming, okay, stick with it. If it feels forced or uncomfortable, well, you can change. Because if you're going to know your mind, you have to know it here in the present moment, because that's where it's doing its actions. You can reflect back on things you did in the past, but if you weren't really fully present for them when you did them, it's hard to tell exactly what the mind state was, what the motivation was. Because that's the important part of every action, what's your motivation, what's your intention. The best place to watch your intentions is right here, right now. And the best way to know about the mind's intentions is to set one intention up. Tell yourself, I'll stay right here. And then other intentions will come in. You say, nope, I'm going to stay, stick with this one. So you're trying to bring the mind to a state of oneness, where all of its attention is right here, focused on one thing. We're making merit today for someone who's passed away. And it's not that the food or the gifts get delivered to that person, but the state of mind with which you give them, that can, creates a current that goes toward the person that you dedicated to. So you want it to be a good current. Make sure that your mind is calm, clear, mindful. And that creates a good source of energy inside the mind. So wherever you direct that energy, it's going to be felt as something positive. So work on generating some positive energy right here by keeping the mind in one place. The mind is scattered around lots of things. It doesn't have as much value as it does when it's one. When it's when everything is working together inside. And that's when you begin to see the mind does have some power. It can stick with one thing and it can bore right through any unskillful mind states. It can see more clearly what's going on. And it's a better position to say no to unskillful ideas and yes to skillful ideas. Ideas that will lead to true happiness. Both for you and whoever else feels the energy of your mind.